you ever have something on your mind you just you can't get no peace until you get it figured out what happened to me this weekend I've worried all weekend I couldn't I couldn't sleep any I'm trying to figure out do I have ideals or thoughts now it's one of the two I, I don't know the difference what's the difference between an ideal and a thought most people, most sane people, have these ideals that pop in their frontal lobe here. You know, you have a nice, decent, civil conversation with somebody. They ask you a question and you reply. That don't happen to me. I don't know what goes on, but I've done some self uh i can't even think of the word self uh diagnosis that's what it is self diagnosis and i got i got this thing they they call uh brain lane now brain uh lazy brain that's what it is See, people get these ideas that come to the frontal lobe here and it travels back to the cerebrum, cerebrum, or whatever that thing is in the back of the bottom part of your brain when you're having a conversation and it processes whether you need to say that or just go on to the next thought. And if it decides that's what you need to say, it'll work itself back up through the brain there and back to the, uh, to the frontal lobe and then it goes down and sends a signal down to your mouth and comes out of your mouth. Mine don't work that way. My brain is too lazy for all that work. The way it works in my brain, you say something to me, it, I get a thought right here. It don't travel back to my cerebrum. <laughs> it goes from here straight to my mouth and it comes out. So I was at Walmart, this woman I work with, nice lady. She says, Moon, I was wondering about something. Have you lived in Fayetteville all your life? A normal, sane human being would say, No, I was raised in Newmarket. And I moved to Fayetteville after I got out of school. But, but, but my brain don't work like that. So when she says, have you lived in Fayetteville all your life? I said, not yet. 